Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, it's your boy Dion Mo Damuto, we're back with another video today, we're watching the original Murno versus the Multiverse, and we're getting closer and closer to that Grand Priest fight, man, so we about to get into it, man, I don't know what part we on, I think we're like on damn near 30 or some shit, so, we're almost done, we're like fucking, what, like 6 hours, 7 hours in this video, <laughs> to the 9 hour uh, video, so, Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into it, man. Also, man, I want to thank everybody who's subscribing to the channel, bro. I have gained a lot of subscribers off fucking, I think, these videos alone. The the top five strongest and the, the Myrtle one and, the, and this Myrtle video. So, shout out to y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. Carry out his axe, Beerus went on to grab onto Myrno's hand by telling him, Not so fast, Angel. Some of us aren't finished with you just yet. You may be more powerful than us, but our resolve will never be shattered. I'm sure if you weren't able to see this before, then surely now you can. This is my universe, Beerus says, and I won't let you do anything to destroy it. You are a joke to me, feeble destroyer, Myrno oh, says. Shit. Your resolve means nothing to me. Your numbers mean nothing to me your power means nothing to me you are no longer on my radar he adds stand aside and wait your turn what the heck he's gone Beerus says and wait your Myrno turn it's crazy let's right past Beerus in doing what he was just about to do Myrno then went on to turn his attention back at the Grand Priest and the Omni Kings by responding the only ones who matter are the ones who sit and protect the throne the root of all hypocrisy and lies he adds and as Myrno had then proceeded in firing multiple energy blasts at them in completely disregarding the small amount of time that the grand priest had needed to fight Myrtle then went on to continue your rules mean nothing to me Maybe why can't he wait the little three minutes and face me you cowards this is what Lame. i think of your pathetic and delusional laws held in place but before Myrtle's blast could actually reach the grand priest and the omni kings out of nowhere golden majin boo ended up teleporting right in front of them as golden boo went on to shout i don't think so now let's see if this works it's been a very long time so what Golden Majin Buu ends up doing is Golden Majin Buu ends up extending his mouth open and literally them being shown having to swallow each and every single one of Myrno's blasts as Myrno went on to look up by asking, what does that mortal think he's doing? Oh, I see. A redirection counter. You creatures are all so predictable. As with Golden Majin Buu near Golden Majin Buu is crazy still. I don't, that shit is crazy. He took it upon himself in firing all of Myrno's attacks back at him to where Myrno was not impressed in the slightest as Myrno was shown having to deflect each and every single one of them by responding using my own attacks against me won't help you fools i am invincible no damage can destroy me even if you are somehow able to use my attacks against me to where out of nowhere one of Myrno's blasts which was seen having to be deflected by him was then ultimately shown making its way towards vegeto who was holding the spirit bomb as vegeto went on to shout damn we can't let that blast hit us which fortunately enough for vegeto he was actually able to teleport out of the way fast enough in avoiding Myrno blast completely as Vegito then went on to look on up and responding Whoa, that was close we're still in the game if that blast had connected the entire spirit bomb would have been a gigantic waste I don't think it'll be enough though he adds we still need more there's got to be another way and with Myrtle then shown infuriated by the idea of everyone having to get in his way an angry Myrtle then took it upon himself and having to power up then by responding I've had it with you worms and your constant interference you will not deny me of my destiny since you wanted my attention this badly, now you, but then, all of a sudden, oh, Myrno shit. stops, as he went on to look on up and noticing something, as Myrno went on to comment, wait a second, that surge of energy just now, could it really be? That had to have come from him, I just know it did, he seems more determined now than he was a minute ago, yes, that confirms it then, Myrno says, He's ready. And with the Grand Priest then oh, being yeah. shown having to stand there with every grain of oh, sand having to fall at the very bottom, it would only oh, shit. the time has finally come as the Grand Priest went on to address Myrno by telling him, Never in my life oh, would I ever shit. have seen for a day like this to come. For a father's hand to be forced in fighting and destroying his son for the abominable acts that he has committed. I tried speaking sense into you, the Grand Priest says. I tried giving you a chance to see the harm that you were doing not only onto others, but 
onto yourself as well. These acts of mass genocide end here with me, Murno. Time's up, the Grand oh, Feast says. Shit. And the Omni Kings are then shown having to be visibly very excited as they cannot wait to see what's about to unfold. The Omni Kings then went on to comment, Hey, look, he did it. The Grand Minister did it. He completed our challenge. Look there, time's up. Time's up, time's up, says the second Omni King. Do you feel that? The Grand Priest looks really scary. Do you feel his power? Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, sir. Well, you got what you were asking for, Murno says. Does that mean that you are no longer going to be chained like an animal and face the consequences that you have coming? Because I'm ready to shred you and be done with oh, this. Oh, shit. As the even mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito went on to sense this, with Vegito shown continuing to collect more energy for the Spirit Bomb, he then went on to respond, Whoa, that energy, that, that means time's up. We did it. We were able to help the Grand Priest with the time he needed. So that just then means, as with Myrno shown having to point up at the Grand Priest, he then went on to tell him, I want you to know that this is going to be the last battle that you will ever live to see. Everything will be used against you. Let this be the final chapter in the story of your deception. Remember what's on the line here, you snake. If you fail, then you can kiss the very essence of all reality and existence goodbye. As it was during this moment where all all hell was about to break loose, Whis went on to inform everyone by shouting, Everyone brace yourselves! The Grand Minister's restrictions has been lifted! As with Myrno then yeah, showing yeah, 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 yeah. tremendous amounts of force, he then went on to shout, I've waited eons for this day. Today will be the day where you finally meet your end. Now come uh, and we'll stop see. me if you truly think you can. And it was only right then and there where the Grand Priest had then finally taken initiative in then being shown making the first move, in then being being shown having to move towards Myrno with such tremendous amounts of speed, the present Omni King then went on to shout, Oh, wow, 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 wow! Did you just see how fast the Grand Priest oh, moved? With the Grand Priest then shown having to strike Myrno with Myrno shown having to defend himself, the Grand Priest went on to tell Myrno, You wanted me? Well, here I am, child. With the Grand Priest being shown having to strike Myrno with such tremendous amounts of force, that not only was the Grand Priest able to hit Myrno hard enough in taking him off the planet, but the Grand Priest from there was then seemingly enough having to drive Myrno through several different planets as even Vegito went on to comment whoa did you guys just see that we were oh yeah oh yeah. he's blocking he know better he's blocking look he's driving Myrno deep into outer space with ease it's much more than that Beerus chimes in look closely he's smashing him through every planet along the way in all my years Beerus adds I've often heard about the Grand Priest's power but to see it up close like this is beyond words as indeed this happened to be the case with the Grand Priest shown driving Myrno through every single planet along the way from that point on, with everyone having to observe, Kefla went on to ask, Yeah, but can he do it? Is the Grand Priest strong enough to destroy him this time? There's no doubt about it, Gohan says. He has to be. Unless Myrno can be seen matching him, I think this is it, you guys. I think Myrno just might be done for. As through the other side of oh, one of the planets, with the Grand Priest shown having to push Myrno on through, he then went on to tell him, You were able to bully your way around by tossing your way to those uh, he who are unable up. to yeah. compete with you in battle. Does it hurt to know that feeling when it's now being thrown back at you, Myrno. As with Myrno then Pause. sure having to attempt to strike the Grand Priest, he then went on to respond, Shut your mouth, you snake. You left me for dead, your own angel, the best of the best, thrown away in favor of tyrannical children. Enough, the tyrannical Grand Priest crazy. responds. As he then followed up by kicking Myrno in the stomach, he then went on to tell him, Your <laughs> hatred and lust for revenge and power has not only deteriorated your mind, but it has spiraled so <laughs> far out of control that you are beyond reasoning. And I cannot allow you to have have things go your way. As the sheer force and impact of the Grand Priest kick was so intense, that Myrno's body had went crashing through several different planets before having to stabilize himself in space by responding, w why you? Maybe you've forgotten who you're dealing with here. Let's not forget that I was the only one among our race to ever stand up to you in battle. And it's for a very good reason, Myrno adds, as with Myrno Shona having to duck on under in avoiding the Grand Priest punch, in being able to respond as quickly as it happened, Myrno then went on to to continue it's for the same reason why you feared my potential because you knew once you saw it with your very own eyes that if i was allowed to remain where i was then i would have ultimately have taken your place and surpassed you completely he says as within oh, that moment shit. had then quickly followed up by having to then be shown uppercutting the grand priest in the stomach with such tremendous amounts of power that literally all the planets behind the grand priest were then shown having to be vaporized which not only you know what's funny you know what's funny Imagine like, 
I like, you know, they say like people that work with a Kira Toriyama or whatever, or Kira Toriyama, like had like all these plans for like Dragon Ball Super and shit. <laughs> and uh, you know, they got all these like, okay, okay, after after the um, Black Frieza art, we gonna go to to um to this art. Imagine like some of their plans like kind of coincide with like with unreal gaming shit. <laughs> They're like, man, they just bought that paper up and throw it away. Like, damn. <laughs> displayed the sheer amount of power that both of these individuals were displaying but like in the that middle shit of crazy that, that uppercut the grand priest Myrtle then went on to continue you were scared you were jealous weren't you because you knew that i would become a much better grand priest than you oh. this is on your head Myrno adds you taught me everything there is to know and because you did i am now going to use it all to kill you oh As with Myrno shit then following up by them being shown punching the grand priest in the face which thus resulted in the Grand Priest also being shown having to crash through several different planets with both Whis and Vados observing. Even the angels themselves could not seem to believe this as Whis went on to respond, Vados, are you seeing this? He... He struck him, Vados adds. Give him time. I don't think the Grand Priest is finished, she adds. We must keep our eyes on them, Whis adds. Something tells me that Father has a plan, but what could it be, he asks. I do not doubt his ability in this battle, but we must not lose track of them. As with the Grand Priest then being shown having to land back on the planet in which everyone else was on, in thus being shown stabilizing himself and wiping his face, the Grand Priest then went on to ask, Surely that wasn't the best that you can do, was it? I would never underestimate your skill in battle but it'll take more than one lucky strike to destroy me oh and this shit itself really went on to piss talk your shit Mer uh, um grand priest again, grand minister whatever priest, you call yourself his father Myrno went on to shout you've got some nerve as with Myrno then shown having to strike the grand priest with the grand priest being shown having to grab onto Myrno's punch there is a massive shockwave generated from the sheer force of this strike that everyone else alongside with the omni kings are beginning to feel this as the omni kings went on to respond hey look the the entire planet is shaking. No, the entire universe is shaking, says the second Omni King. This is a really scary fight, as even Jiren went on to respond, what impact? Everything around us is violently shaking. Ah, come on, Vegito says, hold it. Darn, all of this shaking is throwing me off, Vegito says. We can't lose focus and have this be wasted. I'm hoping those two don't destroy the entire universe while they battle. Come on, come on. As we then go back to Myrtle, who was then shown mid-strike and looking very angry, he then went on to respond, Why, you? I can see it in your eyes, Myrno says. You think I can't win, don't you? You think I don't have what it takes to destroy you, is that it? You've lost your ways, child, says the Grand Priest. Okay. You do not have what it takes to win against me, and you never will. Unless there is more to you than meets the eye, this war that you have been waging against the gods is over, and you know it, Myrno. Your fate has already been decided, but Myrno oh, still shit. attempts to attack the Grand Priest anyway. Talk your shit. Myrno then shown having to attack his father in attempting to punch yeah. him, with the Grand Priest being shown Brad having to dodge each and every single one of his strikes. Myrno went on to shout, that nigga said, I have been an Ultra Instinct, nigga. Themselves now. Enough, the you just Grand a puppet, Priest, man. Says. It was as I said, the outcome of this battle along with your fate has already been decided. As with the Grand Priest once again being shown having to punch nigga, this shit ain't the command mayor, nigga. This is ultra instinct, nigga. I invented that went on shit. To acknowledge this with Vados responding, I can't believe it's Whis. He's driving him back. Myrno is losing ground with Whis responding, I see it too. But look closely, Whis adds, Myrno is beginning to get flustered. His energy is starting to flare. As with Myrno then shown having to visibly be angry, he then went on to respond, so I see that you're just as tough as I remembered you being. Perhaps you haven't gone soft like the rest of those fools after all. And now that I can see that for myself, I now understand what I need to do. All this truly means is that I'm going to have to try just a little harder if I want to get my point across. A worthy opponent indeed, but a dead one at that. With the Grand Priest responding, don't try it, Myrno. Extinguish your ambitions for revenge before it's too late. Before it's too late. You cannot win. But once again, you can we hear back down because as soon as Myrno had then gone in speed blitzing towards the Grand Priest, in an act of absolute rage, Myrno then went on to shout, I'd rather die a billion deaths over before I ever lay myself down to you traitors. Now die! As right then and there with Myrno shown having to strike the Grand Priest, it was only then all of a sudden, as the sheer fabric of space time around them was beginning to shatter, Vegito went on to shout, Ah, what the heck is happening? Holy crap, Kefla says, the sky! 
what's going on? As the fight between the Grand Priest and Myrna was now beginning to get so intense that they were both now beginning to shatter through reality itself. What the as fuck? On to respond, they're tearing through the fabric of reality. They're shattering through dimensions with the sheer force of their attacks. As both the Grand Priest and Myrna were then showing having to travel from the present timeline into the future timeline and then back out through another exit, as the Grand Priest was then shown having to regain control in smashing Myrna through several different realities, as soon as they had both came crashing through the other side, the Grand Priest went on to tell Myrna, you've invoked mass genocide on all those who have you deemed as unfit and unworthy to live. You, an angel whose responsibility was to watch over creation, not destroy it, decided to want to lust after complete control of the throne in order to see your vision through. You have violated your oath as a grand angel and have spat in my face for granting you the life that you were so fortunate to live. As with the Grand Priest then shown punching Myrno, he then went on to continue, first you will be punished for the crimes against the gods that you have committed, and then you will be punished for the disruptive chaos you've created through your presence within the existing multiverse. And you truly think it will be that easy, Myrno asks. Oh, shit. You've acknowledged me before as your successor. And just as you've acknowledged me once before, Myrno says, as he then went on to grab the Grand Priest by his arm, he then quickly followed through by having to throw the Grand Priest with such tremendous force by telling him, you will acknowledge me once more as being your superior. That throne will be mine, Myrno shouts, as once again, Myrno was then shown having to strike Come on, Grand him Priest. in shattering the reality by telling him, and I will do everything in my power to have it. As Myrno and the Grand Priest were then once again being shown having to tear through the Dragon Ball Super Broly timeline, the Granola timeline, and many others, Beerus went on to put this into uh, question by asking, Granola I can't timeline. believe what I'm seeing. They'll destroy the entire multiverse if this keeps going. Whis, what's happening? With Whis responding, as shocking as this may sound, my lord, I can barely keep up with their movements at this point. They are moving at such a pace where it appears as though they are standing still, but they're not. This is exactly why angels are forbidden from fighting, especially angels at their level. This is now beginning to affect all of reality and every timeline. Yeah. But even then with Myrno showing we see, to nigga. the Grand Priest with the Grand Priest dodging, the Grand Priest then went on to inform Myrno by telling him, I'm very impressed. Despite your absence throughout the generations, you haven't forgotten your training. But I haven't taught you everything. And with the Grand Priest then shown punching Myrno in the face, the sheer result of this one punch alone was enough to send Myrno crashing through yet another reality. Oh, with shit. Myrno then making his exit as the Grand Priest followed, he then went on to tell him, you called for this war, child. Your rage is what drove you into now suffering as you've suffered once before. Order will be restored, he says. Let this painful beating be a stark reminder of how badly you've fallen from grace. As with Myrno's body once again being shown having to smash through several different planets, Kefla went on to ask, are you guys seeing this? There okay, they, 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 they the fighting for real. Done. They fighting hard. Myrno stands a chance, Android 35 says, but I have a bad feeling about something. As with the Grand Priest being shown having to look out into deep outer space, he then went on to comment, I haven't been forced to engage in this way for many generations. He's every bit as dangerous and mighty as I remembered him being when he was by my side. Is there anything left of the real you in there? The Grand Priest asks. Don't make me do this. As with Myrna, gotta do it. To still that nigga did kill your other kids, bro. Planets, while at the same time, in an eerie way, being shown smiling, Myrna went on to comment, I can't believe it. Would you look at that? I haven't felt actual pain since you nearly eradicated me eons ago. Well done, Snake. You've proven to be a worthy opponent after all. But if this is all you think that I can do, then you are in no. for a shocking surprise. Whis, tell me, can he win, Beerus asks? Is the Grand Priest using his full power? Why isn't the fight over? With Whis responding, I honestly cannot tell you, my lord. I sense confliction within the Grand Priest's heart. Maybe that's because he truly doesn't want to kill one of his own, he adds. I believe the Grand Minister might be searching for any redeemable qualities that still may exist within the Man, him. get that nigga the fuck up out of here. He end Myrno's life once and for all, unless there is something that we aren't seeing on the surface yet. As with Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito still being shown having to collect energy for his spirit bomb, in an act of desperation in being able to see his plan through, Vegito went on to address everyone by shouting, everyone listen up, we need more power. We've gathered as much as we could from this universe and it won't be enough. 
Listen to me. If this is all that we can collect from Universe 7, then unless there's another way, I need you all to lend me more of your energy right now. We can't risk it all on just this. It's all or nothing, so please, we have to hurry. As all a while deep within outer space, we then get to see how Murno had maintained balance in further having to prevent himself from flying out any further. In an act of anger, Murno went on to respond, Gah, not a chance. I've waited too long and have come too far to lose now. A Especially to you, traitorous fiend. One way or another, I will find a way to break you if it's the last thing I do. Good luck, nigga. Where the Grand Priest had then continued in attempting to strike Myrno with Myrno being shown barely having to move out of the way. As the Grand Priest is now focused on putting an end to Myrno, he then went on to address his son by telling him, Your efforts of destroying me are failing. Surrender now, Myrno. Do not force my hand into destroying you. But as quickly as it happened, Myrno was then shown having to put his hands together and further having to respond to his father by telling him, Oh, I'll show you failure, you scum. I'm sure you must have been watching when Universe 12 fell at my feet, which means what you are about to experience will be the same thing Martino experienced before she died. Let's see if you are really able to hold up to your title, Grant Priest. Think about the, the final flash? Easy, Myrno asks. This is for ripping me away from my universe, for stabbing me in the back in favor of delinquents. As the Grand Priest quickly went on to turn around by responding, what are you doing? That's way too much energy. Don't try it, Myrno. But Myrno went along to fire the attack anyway, as Myrno then went on to shout, die, you liar! With the attack itself then being shown having to make its way towards the Grand Priest, it was only then upon firing this attack where the Grand Priest then went on to remember Martinu as the Grand Priest went on to say to himself, I remembered hearing her final cries for help echo through the vastness of space. Your own sister, Myrno. You snuffed her life away without cause or reason. All because you wanted to draw me out to face you. My precious angels, the Grand Priest says, I will not let any of your deaths go in vain. And with the Grand Priest then being shown having to make his way towards Myrno's attack, he then went on to shout, It is my sworn duty to protect all life, no matter the circumstances or cause. But even then, Myrno continues to fire upon the Grand Priest anyway, as Myrno went on to shout, I don't care what happens to this universe. Once the throne becomes mine, I will create a new reality, new angels, ones who will serve and obey my every command new mortals and new gods of destruction a new multiverse that shit ain't gonna work my nigga one and only true king a king without equal i don't care what happens to you Myrno shouts i don't care what happens Damn. to any of you let it all be destroyed but then during his act of wanting to destroy the grand priest along with the entire universe Myrno had then gone on in sensing something very unusual as this spark went on to catch Myrno's attention as Myrno went on to ask what was that just now? But that's not possible. I can feel his energy getting closer, but through my own attack? As indeed this just so happened yeah, sure. to have been the case because At Murno's the fucking Grand Priest, nigga. We then see the very scope of how powerful the Grand Priest truly is as the Grand Priest was shown having to literally go through Myrno's attack and re-emerging on the other side by telling him, how dare you carry on with such blasphemous actions? You truly are beyond reason. You are consumed by hatred and revenge. Don't you ever speak ill of the dead in my presence again, child. These oh, shit. worms were your siblings, your brothers and sisters, Myrno. This one is for you. Ain't lying. All of them, the Grand Priest says. And as the Grand Priest was then shown having to strike Myrno in the face with such tremendous amounts of force, that Myrno's body was not only sent hurtling through the voids of space, but the sheer speed force in which Myrno's body was traveling Sorry, in was I'm literally beginning to shatter all of reality and space-time itself once again. But before traveling into a different dimension, Myrno went on to brace himself in maintaining his balance by responding, You persistent fool. So I see you haven't let yourself go like the others did at after all, the one true constant, huh? And here I thought that was honestly going to do the trick. I guess I was mistaken, Myrno adds. Perhaps I'll have to use even more power if I want to see this through. Look at me, Myrno says. It's been a very long time since I was able to feel this kind of pain. But I can't help but ask now. I've noticed you caught on, didn't you? My elusive energy siphoning technique isn't working on you. So you've blocked yourself off from having your power taken, huh? 
Very smart. Very smart in Someone smart, okay. Says, Tell me something else. You're not pulling your punches against me, are you? I wonder what's going through that head of yours. As the Grand Police went on to respond, you knew from your early days of when I trained you that energy siphoning was forbidden. And what's even more is especially for lustful purposes. You should already know that this technique will not work on me as it did with the others, the Grand Police adds. Yet another one of your plans foiled. Everything that you are was molded by me, the Grand Priest Oh, says. shit. Talk I your shit. I overlook your desire for power until it was made painful. Grand Priest a cool clear, nigga, bro. you were to be dealt with, then you would have been a much bigger problem to deal with, as it was only then we're out of nowhere. Myrno had gone in attempting to strike the Grand Priest by opening up a portal and telling gotcha, him, bitch. I'm much more than just a problem that you're going to have to deal with, traitor. But once again, the Grand Priest had made easy work by ducking, dodging, avoiding, and even stopping Myrno attacks with his own hand as it was only then from out of nowhere Myrna was then shown opening up two portals beneath the Grand Priest in them being shown having to grab on in latching onto the Grand Priest's legs as Myrna went on to tell him careful now for someone as strong as you it would be a real shame if you were to be outsmarted wouldn't it to where as soon as another portal was then shown opening up in Myrna having to latch onto the Grand Priest by choking him Myrna had then saw this as being the ultimate opportunity as Myrna went on to continue there's plenty of more where that came Came from we can't keep our audience waiting minister what do you say we bring the fight back to them so they can watch you get torn apart right before their pathetic little eyes if you haven't felt anything before then you are surely about to feel this one oh, what that as means as Myrna had saw this opportunity in connecting a thunderous strike to the Grand Prix's face that not only had gone in creating a shockwave so intense that it was felt all throughout the entire multiverse but as the Grand Prix's body was then shown having to hurtle through space the Angels, Margarita, Vados, and Weiss went on to comment, Vados, Weiss, are you seeing this? The shockwave of Myrno's attacks alone are destroying hundreds of planets throughout the universe, Weiss says. Are you sensing that trajectory, Vados asks? It feels as though the Grand Priest's energy is getting closer and closer, as it was within that moment where we literally see how hundreds of different stars were then shown being destroyed by the sheer shockwave of Myrno's strike. With Myrno shown casually smirking, Weiss went on to continue, they may be making their way back here as we speak. We must brace ourselves for anything that may happen, as even the Omni Kings went on to feel the shockwave of this attack, as they were then shown literally shaking in their seats, as the Omni Kings went on to comment, Oh wow, everything is shaking, it feels like they're shaking the entire multiverse as they fight. I've never seen a fight like this before, says the second Omni King. I can't even see them, but I can feel them from all the way over here. I'm sure I'm it's a little sleepy, being boy. able to keep up with their movements, Jiren says, but I've never felt anything like this before. Four. Wait. What's that, Jiren asks. As even Beerus went on to respond, I feel it too. Something's coming. It doesn't feel like an attack, so that means one of them is heading here. As even Vegito went on to acknowledge this by responding, Ah, uh, steady. This is nuts. There won't be a multiverse if they keep this up. I can't believe that Myrna was actually able to fight back, or is he being allowed to, he questions. Is the Grand Priest trying to redeem him somehow? Either way, Vegito says, We can't fail, but this won't be enough. Enough. We need more power. Whoa, what is that? Vegito questions as he then went on to look up and noticing how the Grand Priest's body was shown crashing through multiple different planets. As even Vegito himself could not believe this, as he continues, Wait, is that the Grand Priest? I, I I think it is. Oh no! And as the Grand Priest was then shown having to enter orbit and then making his way down onto the planet, the other angels went on to quickly notice this as Whis went on to respond, Right there! It's the Grand Minister! We've got to stop him from crashing into us, Vados says. Now, angels, let's help him! To where as soon as Margarita, Whis, and Vados are then shown having to make their way upwards, in doing the best they possibly can in assisting their father during the course of this battle, as all of the angels are shown making their way in, Whis went on to shout, Grand Minister, we're here! Angels, leave us. Do not intervene. As the Grand Priest was shown breaking his fall, he then continues, you are to remain where you are and leave me to deal with Myrno alone. As Vados okay. chimes in, but we can't just Good luck, 
watch him do this to you as the Grand Priest was shown wiping his mouth and responding, worry not about what will happen with me, he says. I know better than anyone of what Myrna was truly capable of, and I will not risk losing any more angels to him again. He's coming, the Grand Priest says. No matter what happens, you are to look after the others, especially the Omni Kings. I know what I'm doing, he adds, and I plan to keep the promise that I've given them by putting on a spectacle for them. It pains me to have to do this, but until I call for it, you are to refrain from joining this battle. As it was only then we're out of nowhere, once again Myrno had gone and reappearing once again and attacking the other angels by telling them, what's this, a family reunion? This dinner table is seated for two. Now stand aside and watch as your beloved father is torn apart. Get out of my way, Myrno shouts. As with complete oh, shit. Peace, Myrno was then shown having to knock away bottles, margarita, and Whis all at the same time. Yeah, Y'all niggas ain't ready for, for that nigga Myrno. Noticed by the mortals as Jiren went on to catch Margarita by telling her, I got you. Stay with me, as Kefla did the same with Vados by telling her, Whoa, there we go, gotcha. That was a close one, as Beerus was also shown catching Whis by telling him, You're not going down that easily, Whis. Hey, can you hear me? Stay with us. As Whis responds, I hear you, Lord Beerus. Thank you. Listen to me. Although the Grand Minister is in full control of this battle, there is no telling what Myrno might do or how far he's willing to go if backed into a corner. Searching to find the Myrno of old has failed, Whis adds. Yeah, he's failed. long gone, and I'm sure the Grand Minister sees this as well, with Beerus responding, so then what do you think we should do? We've been given the order to stay back as they fight. So what are we to do from here if we can't jump in to aid the Grand Priest? Up there, we says, the Saiyan Spirit Bomb, he adds. Although they have maxed out the universe's energy to grow the bomb larger, we must find a way to give them even more energy to ensure the Spirit Bomb's power. As Beerus responds, so, you're saying that even after giving our own power, it still won't be enough? So how are we to know this will work, Beerus? asks I'm guessing the mortals are waiting for the perfect time to pick their spot in order to launch it but how could we fuel the bomb if we've already maxed out universe 7's energy Unless, Beerus says, as we only then go back to the Grand Priest and Myrno, who are both shown locked in a very they really fighting, battle, bro. as the Grand Priest was shown catching on to Myrno's punch by telling him, and what do you hope to accomplish if you see this mission of yours through, he asks. If you were to somehow destroy me along with the Omni Kings, then what exactly do you expect will happen? As from that point, Myrno was also shown having to latch on by catching the Grand Priest's punch, he then went on to respond by telling him, a new beginning, that's what, one without meaning laws upheld by brainless little children and i as its supreme king look how weak those angels have gotten since the glory days of when i was around to help them they've grown comfortable during these ages of peace as with the grand priest and myrno shown locking in a test of strength with myrno appearing overly confident as the grand priest kept his composure myrno then went on to continue but once this day is through none of you will ever know peace the errors of the gods that have gone overlooked for eons will be corrected. The laws held in place which are meant to bond us will be broken. The weak shall die and only I will remain. The only existing life form in creation until it's restarted. In my image. In my name, Myrno adds. I thought you were better than this. Have you grown soft for me, Myrno asks? Oh, shit. Are your emotions preventing you from killing me? That's if you even can, is that it? This is why you are unworthy to lead, Myrno says. You lead with emotion and rules. I will lead through might and instinct. You appear more relaxed than I imagined you'd be. Why? This is why you are unworthy to lead, Myrno says. You lead with emotion and rules. I will lead through might and instinct. Oh, you shit. appear more relaxed than I imagined you'd be. Why is that, Myrno asks, as the Grand Priest went on to tell him, After all this time, I expected more from you considering you were my strongest angel and next in line to take my place as the Grand Minister of the Multiverse. But now look at you, the Grand Priest says. You are but a shell of who you once were. What makes you think you are above judgment? What makes you assume that you are above our angelic law, he asks. It was why you had fallen then, and it will be what results in your great fall now, child. Yep. You wanted complete control over things that you did not yet understand. Talk your shit. So what did you do? You destroyed yourself in the process in order to reach for something 
something that was never destined to be yours. Which only then, shockingly enough, as Myrna was overhearing this, while still locked in a test of strength with the Grand Priest, Myrna then took it upon himself you nasty motherfucker. and figuratively spit in the face of the Grand Priest, and the Grand Priest looked irate by this because not only was this one of the ultimate forms of blasphemy within the angelic race, but despite all of the common sense that the Grand Priest was desperately trying to embed within Myrna, Myrna from that point had then taken it upon himself to spit in his father's face, which by no means did not go unnoticed because as the Grand Priest quickly went on to let go, in uppercutting Myrna in the stomach, he then went on to tell him, Myrna, you will pay dearly for what you just did. How dare you, the Grand Priest says. You have some nerve. And with the Grand Priest shown having to flip Myrna over and then being shown having to throw him directly down Come onto on, the Myrna. ground with such tremendous Come amounts on, of force Grand and Priest. that even the other angels went on to acknowledge this by responding, did, did, did Myrna just, he did, Margarita says. He has lost his mind. No one has ever disrespected the Grand Priest like that, ever. And as the Grand Priest was then shown having to stomp down on Myrna's chest and literally having to drive him through the planet itself, it was within those moments where the Grand Priest went on to address Myrna by telling him, you have yet to feel my wrath for all of the horrors you've caused. And since you desperately wanted to experience my power, then let this be an example of it. As moments later with the two shown having to exit through the other side, both of the Omni Kings could not seem to contain their excitement as one of the Omni Kings went on to comment, I can't believe what I just saw. Did you see it too? Did you see it too? I've never seen anyone spit in the Grand Priest's face. I did, crazy. I did, says the second Omni King. This battle is everything the Grand Priest promised it would be and more. This is so intense. I'm shaking in my seat. Oh, holy crap, Kefla says. He just smashed right into him and out through the other side of the planet. In case something happens to this planet, Golden Majin Buu adds, we must prepare our barriers to aid us. As it was only then through the other side of the planet with Myrno shown having to hold onto his chest, he then went on to respond, Ah, you deceiver. So, you are hiding your true power from me after all. I felt that one, Myrno says. That one actually hurts. What's wrong? Were my actions disrespectful? That was the exact feeling I had when you threw me out and left me to die, snake. But I still stand before you. Are you starting to remember how durable my body is now, Myrno asks? You yourself had even said that it was as though my body was indestructible. So this really shouldn't surprise you, especially if I am able to still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you without exerting myself that much. Face it, traitor. You are fighting an unwinnable battle. Because one way or another, I will find a way to break you. And then I will kill you. As the Grand Priest responds, I'm sensing doubt coming from your spirit. Is that because you are starting to worry about what's going to happen to you? You wish, Myrno says. Tell me, should I be the one who is worried or should you be the one who should take heed? Oh, you know you shit. What that nigga Myrno doing? Me, don't you? I've mastered the arts of soul separation and spirit splitting, which means unless you can truly overpower and destroy me, then I will always find a way to live on. I'm starting to wonder if fighting one of me is bothering you, then how about you try fighting dozens, Myrno says. I have acquired many abilities and skills that one would consider to be unnatural and forbidden. Of course, this being one of many of them, he adds, as it was only then shown where dozens of portals were then beginning to open up, as through them, we then had bared witness how multiple original Myrnos were then beginning to step on through. In an act of trying to outnumber the Grand Priest, Myrno then went on to continue, So tell me, should we go on and attack you together, or should we break away and kill the other worms first? I assure Damn. you there will be no more resurrections after this is over, the Grand Priest says. Your fight is with me. The others are of no concern to you at the moment. I know what you are trying to do, the Grand Priest oh, says. Shit. It is a skill that you learn from training with me. You will not be able to break through my defenses to find what you are looking for. As Myrna then went on to smile in responding, Smart! But do you really think I can't break through? Well, let's put that to the test then. What will it be, he asks. Will we attack the rats on the planet, or will we see it to kill you first? Let's see how good your eyes truly are, so pay attention, because here we go. As right before initially going out of his way to attack the Grand Priest, that's... Alright, so, we'll figure out where we was at.
or the end of the chapter, the second chapter was. Uh, look, it's not one of my best reactions, I know. I've been falling asleep sometimes, bro. This, whew, I'm tired, I'm tired. I don't know why I do this late, and I'm already like four hours to sleep, so. Anyway, but I'm going to get this reaction out for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause I fuck with y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, promise you the next re the next reaction is going to be 20 times, 100 times better. So, but anyway, off Bruno and the Grand Priest boxing and going at it. They like they holding back still, so I need them to, to you know what I'm saying, go full power. I'm ready for them to go full power. So, anyway, if you like my reaction, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.